And we're live. Welcome everyone to our Keto Lifestyle Crew second guest expert of the month. You guys, I promised you that you would get one guest back expert a month. And this month, we given we we're, we're giving you two of them. What? Oh my gosh. That's great. <laughs> Okay, there may be some people watching this later that don't know who the heck we are right now. My name is Carol Freeman, and I am a keto nutritionist. I specialize in working with women 40 plus to follow a keto lifestyle for sustainable life, uh, sustainable weight loss. That's what I wanted. Lifestyle for lifestyle. You wanted to have a lifestyle. Anyways, and today I'm here with my very good friend, hypnotist Jim Kellner. Yay! Thank you, Carol. Welcome, welcome. We were, uh, before we went on, this, you know what? I'm going to do something that I always hate on mm. podcasts and uh, interviews. Mm. They always say, and I'm going to, okay. well, we were talking before we went live. Well, that's what I'm going to say right now. Uh, we were, Jim and I were talking before I went live, and we were reminiscing about when we actually met. So currently, I live in Phoenix, Arizona. Just moved here three months ago. Jim is in Seattle, correct? Yes. <laughs> and we met about five years ago. When he lived in Phoenix, I lived in Seattle. It was my first time going to Phoenix or Arizona. Oh, we're getting heart already. Um, this must be your lady that's watching that we're getting heart from. <laughs> um, we're uh, so yeah. I traveled to meet another friend, and I reached out to Jim. And I said, "Hey, while I'm down there, um, you know, we were like Facebook friends. Had never met in person, and uh, so I did one of my earliest keto chat episodes with you. So." We're, we've come full circle. We just switched places in the world. and Right. <laughs> used to be me having breakfast by the pool. Yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's a sore subject right now. But anyways. Uh, <laughs> well, well, Jim. I just want to well, show, you know, I mean, you really introduced me to the whole keto thing because, um, you know, I'd done paleo and things like that. And then uh, I remember when we did our keto chat, um, I told you that, that I would love to try it, but I'm eating hash browns every single day. And you said... Um, could you do, could you just skip the hash browns for 30 days? And I was like, yes. <laughs> and it transformed. So when I met you, you'd already lost what, like, oh yeah, 40, 50 lost. pounds or something. Uh, I'd lost about, uh, I think at that time it was about, about down about 50. Yeah. And then I, okay. I ended up going down about 70. Yeah. And then, wow. Yeah. So the hash browns dropped another 20 pounds, huh? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I even, you know, I told, in fact, it's so funny because people are always afraid they're going to miss things. And sometimes I do, but I certainly don't miss having hash browns every single day. Um, I didn't think it would be possible, really. I was like, I had become so attract, addicted to them. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, and, and so that shows the possibility. And as, you know, practitioners, I'm sure that you can see the possibility for everyone else that you're working with as a hypnotist. Right. Uh, but then when you try to shine that light on yourself, you're like, oh, wait, I guess I can do that too. Right. <laughs> Right. Well, because, you know, I always tell the story too. Before before that, you know, when I first started taking off the weight, I was literally, I was eating ice cream every single day. Mm -hmm. Every single night, I sit down with a big bowl or two of ice cream. And I, I had this thought, I was like, I will never be able to lose weight because I have to have ice cream every day. <laughs> oh, you're, you're singing, you're singing. Oh, gosh. The people <laughs> only knew how bad I ate before. I mean, I mm -hmm. ate mostly whole foods. I would make my own ice cream. Mm -hmm. But even before that, yeah, like ice, yeah, ice cream every night. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, look at the carton. Which one got you the most for the least money so you could have the biggest portion, and <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> the most sugar. Big old thing that was, yeah. And you know, and the thing is, too, is like people are always like, oh, I'm going to miss out on all these things. After a while, you don't even miss it. You know, I mean, I went, mm -hmm. um, I went uh, literally months, years without even thinking about ice cream. It's crazy. Excellent. Well, let's uh, let's start off officially with sharing a little bit about. Will you share with our audience um, why you're so amazing and why I'm so excited that you're here? Well, it's the bald head. I think is probably the main thing. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> um, I'm a world-renowned hypnotist, um, and uh, and that's probably it. Uh, you know, I, I think that the, the reason that we're chatting today is because I've. I've used hypnosis myself uh, to change my life. And I mean, you wouldn't even recognize me from who I was years ago, um, not just physically, mentally, emotionally, everything. Um, and then I, I just, I discovered that I, if I could, if I could do that for myself, I said, Hey, could I do that for other people? And so I took the training and, and yeah, what do you know? I could help other people. And I've helped, now I've helped 
I mean, literally thousands of people changed their lives um, using the, just the power of their own mind, really. Excellent. For those, most people have no idea what hypnosis really is. They've seen the make me quack like a duck on a stage or something, or the movies like Shallow Howl or something like that, where right. um, can you just kind of, you know, basically what is hypnosis? Is it this magic thing that fairy dust that you're making people do stuff? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> where do you get Amazon prime? Is that how you get the fairy yeah. dust? Is that? Exactly. How you get yes. yes. Shh. Don't, don't, don't. Okay. <laughs> I've got an affiliate link for it. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, what, the first thing I would, I would, I would say to people is um, everything that you've ever seen in a movie or TV show about hypnosis, throw it out. It's not true. <laughs> um, office, I, I think, office uh, what's the other office one? Oh, yeah. Um, office, wait. Um, office space, that's it. Office space, yes. Yeah, yes. Anyway. <laughs> but totally inaccurate. Um, if I have a heart attack during the session, you will not get stuck or anything like that. You know, um, and this, is, this brings up a really interesting point, too, because when we're talking about um, the kind of stuff that, the, see, the legitimate stuff that you will often see for stage or for street hypnosis is different than what happens in a hypnotherapeutic sense because, you know, there's, the goals are different. And people will ask me, well, how can you be so funny um, but then still help people change? And it's because we're just using the same tool for different things. And the tool of hypnosis is a way to communicate with the other than conscious mind. Once we do that, then we can either we can use it to um, make people laugh or we can help, help people to, to change their life with, you know, quitting smoking, losing weight, whatever. So is the, tell us more about the hypnotic state. Um, can, is that really hard to get into? Is that, uh, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm bait, baiting the questions here, but I know, yeah, you, you know, the answers. <laughs> yeah. you, you all know this, I'm trying to dispel a lot of the myths that are out there. Right. Like, yeah. Uh, Cause I don't know how many people know, but Carol's actually a trained hypnotherapist as well. So she knows that she knows the answers, but she's, she's helping us out. So I'll tell you, I hope, hope that's okay to say. I don't know. Are you trying to hide that? No, nope, not at all. <laughs> Good. Um, the, the hypnotic state, this is, and this is one of, um, this is one of the, the most frustrating things that I run into is when people say, well, I can't be hypnotized. Actually, it's not even frustrating anymore because it's just, it's just par for the course. Everybody, listen, if you're watching right now, nearly every single one of you thinks you can't be hypnotized. You can. <laughs> uh, once you actually understand what hypnosis is, you realize that it's not this weird, um, magical sort of a place that only weak-willed people or anything like that can do, um, that can experience. It really is just a state of mind. And we're all, we're all going into hypnosis all the time. We just don't call it hypnosis. You know, when we're driving down the freeway and we miss our exit, we zoned out. That really is, it's the same place with hypnosis. The only difference is, is when you're working with me, you've got a guy whispering in your ear, you know, you know, you love healthy food and exercising or whatever. Uh, whereas I'm probably not doing that when you're driving down the car, driving down the road. <laughs> Yes, that's the one time you should not be listening to hypnosis recordings is while you're driving or operating heavy equipment. Right, exactly. That's disclaimer and, on the bottle. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, you know, and so, uh, you know, once people get that, and, and it's frustrating too, because, you know, like on my TEDx talk, I did a, a demonstration. Um, and if you if you haven't seen that, check it out for more information on hypnosis. Um, it's called If You Can't Be Hypnotized, You Lose. Uh, one of the frustrating things that I that I did in that was I, I did a little demonstration. So I had people um, lock their hands together. And I, I tried to explain it very well that not everyone can experience that type of hypnotic phenomenon um, every single time in every situation. Some people, they can't stay focused long enough. Um, you know, they just don't experience hypnosis in that way. But again, we're using it for different things. And so I've had people that'll, that'll watch that video, Carol, they'll, they'll say, oh, my hands didn't stick together, so I guess I can't be hypnotized. I'm like, no, that you missed the point there. Um, so uh, the other thing that I would like to say, too, because I get this question sometimes. I remember this one woman who was telling me, well, how are you going to hypnotize me remotely? Um, I've seen all your videos. And I'm like, well, what are you talking about? She goes, I saw all your videos. How are you going to hypnotize me remotely? And I realized that the reason she was saying that was because all the videos that we have, most videos you're going to see online are me doing either street hypnosis or stage hypnosis because it's boring to watch hypnotherapy. <laughs> somebody, they're sitting in a chair and I'm talking to them. I'm going, that's right. Relax more. You know, that's boring. So I don't post those videos. I, I probably should. And so she's going, you know, 
how are you going to shake my hand and go sleep, you know, or, you know, tap me on the head and make me sleep. And I'm like, no, it's different. We're using, it's like a hammer. You know, sometimes we use it to, you know, hammer in a nail. Sometimes we use the hammer to pull it out different tools or different uses for one tool. All right. Um, so those of you watching, oh, well, I'm saying this now, um, go ahead and pop your questions in the comments. Jim is here to answer questions and also to be of service. So, um, let's see, I got to come up with like the question that's going to make the headline for this. So I'm going to keep thinking about what that is because it's got to be, um, you know, one of the biggest, um, things contrary to what people think that you would say about hypnosis. I got to think of that. I forgot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, we gotta, we gotta come up with the clickbait headline for this. Right. this uh, <laughs> um, so I'll tell you the, 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 the headline that, that gets the most views on my, my YouTube channel is girl hypnotized at beach. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. So, um, let's see. Whoops. This is backwards. So I can never point at it this way. So there's the beach. There's the beach. <laughs> And <laughs> I probably won't volunteer, but we can, we'll actually do some, uh, we'll do a sample session. We did that last time too, just a embedded relaxation. Um, so as you're watching here, um, this is your opportunity to vote for the topic that you were going to put Jim on the spot, mm. spot hypnosis. Well, it's going to be different than the beach hypnosis actually. And, um, well, and, and, uh, if, if you guys don't vote, I'm going to pick up the top, pick the topic too. So, um, so what kind of things is hypnosis good for? Well, as you know, you know, we're, we're traditionally known for, uh, losing weight and quitting smoking. That's what you know, most of the work that I did when I first started out was was that. And I'll tell you, it's interesting because I, I frequently get people asking questions, you know, could hypnosis help me with this or that? And, you know, when you understand hypnosis, you understand that it can help with, with I, I mean, just about anything that you can think about that, you know, any kind of behavior you have, it can affect it because we're actually operating at the, at the mind level. And that's, you know, that's where your habits are at. That's where your your ways of thinking are stored. And so once I can communicate with that, we can kind of, um, help, I can help you to, to change it in, in a way. And so um, while most of my appointment, my stuff in the past was weight loss and smoking, now I do um, those of course, but I'm like, I just finished up with a client who was uh, anger issues. She was blowing up at her spouse all the time. Mm. And it's funny, we did our, we did our, we did three sessions. We did our wrap up call the, the final coaching session. And she's just like, I don't understand why, but it's just gone now. You know, this, this anger, you know, it's because, you know, it's, it's a weird hypnosis is kind of a weird thing. You don't, it's not like a lightning bolt moment for most people. It's not like, Oh, I'm cured. It just sort of happens in a way that is, is kind of confusing for people. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Cause actually, you know, when, as I'm working with people for, uh, weight loss, what I say is it peels back the onion layers, right? Mm -hmm. So they may peel a few pounds off five, 10 or 20 pounds, but often underneath that, there are other issues. Almost always. I can't, you know, there's not an exception. The, the, the exception that like, there's nothing behind the excess weight for people psychologically or emotionally is they just don't know it. They're not aware of it. So there's always right. something else going on. It's never just because you just like ice cream. <laughs> um, Maybe, yeah. I don't know. Uh, uh, maybe for you. No, um, yeah. it's what, anyway, so um, it's. No, let, me just, let me just say, I look, can I, if I can just add to that, is yeah. I always tell people, I don't think anyone becomes significantly overweight just because food tastes so damn good. Right, I mean, right. There's always something else going on. Um, yeah. Five or 10 pounds, maybe from just, you know, being lazy or whatever, maybe even 20. Um, but to become significantly overweight, there's there's always something else going on. Yeah, and it's, it's because food is so numbing and soothing. And so we just learn from a young age that it's a very effective tool for making us as helping us escape our feelings or stress or a lot of different things. So it could just be mild things that we go through normal yeah. human things. And, uh, it just becomes a, a habit that we engage in too much too often. So I yeah. love that hypnosis is a really, really great tool for, um, those other layers of the onion. So either working on them before you start to engage in a weight loss dietary change 
or as you are losing the weight and as those things come up. So anger is a big one. Um, yeah. And it's especially hard for women, right? Because as women, we're, we're taught where we should be, be ladylike, don't get That's angry. Right. And so have you, have you seen that in practice that a lot of your women clients actually have a lot of bottled up anger that they're afraid to express? <laughs> so funny you mentioned that because I, I actually had a client one time who um, uh, I did this, this, this process. She was very, she was kind of a mild, you know, kind of a mild woman, soft spoken. And um, I, you know, we tried a couple of things. I try to avoid anything that's going to cause um, like a lot of times, a lot of, um, a lot, in a lot of schools of thought for hypno hypnosis, the regression to cause is their go-to. Mm -hmm. It's always let's go back to what caused it. I try to avoid anything like that unless I have to, because I'd rather, if I can avoid, you know, kind of bringing on some uncomfortableness, I will do that. But this one, you know, we got through a couple of things. I said, well, let's go, let's try some of this. So I did this technique. Um, I said, you know, look, you may, it may be uncomfortable for the next few weeks as stuff comes out. She came back in like three weeks and she goes, I have been a raving bee for the <laughs> last month um, because she goes, I actually brought up things with my husband that happened on our, um, on our honeymoon that, that, that made her angry, you know? Mm. And, and it was like, so it's uncomfortable, but, but she, it freed her, you know? Mm. And so once all that was out, then she could she could kind of um, go on. So yeah, there's a lot of people with a lot of repressed stuff. And you know, I didn't even you know, as far as like the other stuff that we can help, it's it's. I mean, Lord, I've helped somebody with too much sweating. You know, memory for going to med school, um, anxiety, of course. I mean, it's just about like you know. I mean, really, if you can think it, we can probably address it. Oh, it's so great. Yeah, I I loved learning the fact that. Um, all of our body functions are controlled by your subconscious mind. And so that's why hypnosis can change things like sweating, right. uh, other bodily functions. Um, I've heard of people that have been able to lower their blood pressure um, sure. and, and other things. I, I, a long time ago, I did help somebody that had a lot of test anxiety uh, mm -hmm. that, I, that I was going to school with. And that was really amazing because she could then, she was smart. She just got test anxiety and froze up on that. So that's great. That's a good one too. Anxiety. Yeah. Um, all right. I thought of my excellent question. Ooh. <laughs> I'm, I'm just telling myself that's an excellent question. Okay. So, <laughs> so I'll, I'll frame it this way. So let's talk about the things that you should not use hypnosis. When is it not a good idea? And then the question I'll ask then regarding that is why should someone not use hypnosis for weight loss? Wow. Great questions, Carol. Okay. You should not... I told you it was excellent. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, you put me on the spot because now I'm trying, I'm trying to think. There are some contraindications. Mm -hmm. um, so if someone has, uh, oh, shoot, if they, like a dis like if they, like multiple personality disorder. Okay. Um, I would say go to, if you're going to use hypnosis, uh, talk to your psychologist first and, and go to someone who's got some training in that. You know, I actually know someone who's going through that. I didn't want to work with them, but, but they, they're working with somebody else that has some experience with that. Um, so certain, certain, I would say severe mental uh, neuroses. Uh, so like that, um, uh, so borderline personality disorder. Um, there's another one it's called, uh, the, um, the, the schizophrenia. Is that what you're yes, thinking of? Thank okay. You. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and so, so I would avoid it with those or at least go to, you know, talk to your psychologist first, your, your psychiatrist and, and go to someone who knows what they're doing. And it can be really tough to find someone who knows what they're doing. Believe me. I know. Cause people ask me, Hey, I live in Kentucky. Who should I go see? I, I don't know. Um, but, um, and so who should, and why should you not use also, I would say not to use hypnosis. If you think the hypnosis is going to cure you mm. and in, in that you don't have to do anything else because I did run into this uh, with clients, you know, they, that was my notes. I just wrote down. Yes, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> well, I'm sure, you know, you probably talked to people about, okay, well, these are the foods you, you need to eat and these are the ones you probably should avoid. And they probably go something like, well, I'll just listen to the hypnosis. I don't need to, why do I need to do, you know, like I'll talk to clients about, you know, moving your body more might be helpful. Well, but I, I'm doing the hypnosis. Well, it doesn't magically make it come off, which I think is is good for people to know because I think one of the reasons they may not, you know, buy into hypnosis is because they think, well, how can this make me change? Just listening to something. It's not that listening that does it. 
it's the it's affecting your behavior mm -hmm. which got you to take the weight off yes 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 that's it we're done here no <laughs> yes okay oh thank you you that was that was my like mm, this is what i want him to say so through hypnotic telepathic communication anyways right. already <laughs> no when i i so when i first i i wasn't done with my nutrition training i did get my hypnotherapy certification and i started helping people with hypnosis um but this was long before i knew about keto and i personally i was i was really frustrated with the work that I was doing because people came in and they wanted, they just wanted the hypnosis to make the magic lose the weight, but they right. didn't want to actually make any, no, I don't want to make any changes. I want to keep right. eating ice cream every night. Right. Okay. Uh, and I just want to magically lose the weight. And yeah. um, so that's the key is it does not work if you actually don't change anything uh, about your habits, but that's where it works is that yeah. it does help you change your habits. So, what are some of the uh, success stories that you, you know, some of your favorite clients that you've worked with and, and not just weight loss, but a variety of things? Sure. And, you know, what I would say to that also is, you know, like, what if you didn't mind not having ice cream every day? Right. Yeah. It's like you're not giving anything up. You know, what if you, what if you actually look forward to going for a 10 minute walk? You know, so it's, it's not like you've got to it's, it's going to be the same as before where you were like, oh, I don't want to go for this walk and I'll have to go and all this. No, it's what if what if it actually was easier for you, you know, to make those changes. So um, so I, I got to tell you, one of my uh, one of my favorite success stories, um, beside from the anger one, she was she was awesome. She was she was probably in her 70s. Um, so to see that kind of transformation was awesome. I got to say, there's I had this one this one where I had a kid who was in college and he was having some severe anxiety. He had uh, he'd actually. Um, I don't want to go into too much detail, but he 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 used some 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 drugs that that maybe he shouldn't have, and he started having some really bad anxiety afterwards. Mm -hmm. And so people may tell you how safe certain drugs are, but but they're not always 100% safe. Um, they can cause different problems for different people. But but aside from that, but the thing that got me was you know we talked, we had a consultation. Uh, he was, I mean, he was severe. I mean, he was, he was, he was suicidal really. He, and I told him, you know, look, you got to see a psychiatrist, psychologist, tell your physician, and then we can work together. So he's doing all that. And then um, we had this, this session scheduled and he comes, he, we get on the session. He goes, yeah, you know what? He goes, I, I think I'm going to, I'm not going to do this. Uh, actually he texted me before. I'm not going to do it. And I go, well, well, what happened? I go, you feeling better now? And he goes, no, you know, my, my teacher said the hypnosis probably isn't going to work. And my parents said, it's probably not going to work. And I said, well, let's, with all due respect, I mean, you've, you've looked at my website. You've seen my, you told me you've watched all my videos. You've seen my TEDx talk. You've seen my, all this stuff. I said, who's the expert on hypnosis here? Is your teacher the expert? Are your parents? If they are, great. Let's, let's hear from them. But I said, um, why would you, I mean, it's great to give me this advice, but it's terrible advice. I just want to say, how dare you tell this person, you know nothing about hypnosis and you're going to tell them it's not going to work. He went forward and you know what? He texted me the next day and he goes, since the incident, which had been four or five months, he goes, I've had an anxiety. I get chills thinking about it. Um, um, he said, um, he said, I've had an anxiety attack every single day or more, 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 one or more for five months. He goes, this is the first day I've not had an anxiety attack. Hmm. You know, they could have prevented him from yeah. getting the care that he needed because they don't know enough about the topic. Right. It's so frustrating. It's so mm -hmm. Oh, that drives me crazy. Yeah. So, and, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Well, it's the same thing with like spouses sometimes, you know, mm -hmm. you know, the person wants to quit smoking, but oh, my wife said it's probably not going to work. Well, who's the expert here? Right. If I, because listen, if I don't think it's going to work for you. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I've, I've turned people away, especially if smokers. Like if it's your wife wanting you to quit, forget it. When you want to quit, I'll help you. Because the last thing that I want for a variety of reasons is for you to fail because I feel bad and you probably, you might do a bad review on me. I don't want that. Right. <laughs> you can tell people hypnosis doesn't work, you know? Um, so I believe me, I don't want to work with you if I don't think it's going to, if it's going to work for you. Um, another one of my favorites um, was this woman uh, we, regarding exercise. She hated exercise. She hated it. Uh, we did a few, it took a few sessions for her to get, to break through on that. And then suddenly she was like, you know what? I still don't like exercise, but I don't like doing laundry either, but I just do it. You know? <laughs> oh my gosh. Cause you like the outcome. Like, 
exactly. we don't like doing laundry, but I like having clean clothes. So. Exactly. <laughs> right. right. Oh, that's great. Breakthrough. See, and that's, that's what hypnosis is about. It's not like uh, 360. Oh my God. I'm, I'm now Jillian Michaels and I love exercise right. and I can't wait. I mean, maybe, maybe you've happen. had that happen, but oh, well. most of the time yeah. it's just more of like a subtle shift that makes a really big difference. That's why one of the, the things that we, we often get um, as hypnotists is, you know, people will say, well, you know, I quit smoking, but I'm not sure if it was the hypnosis. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. That's, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's coincidental that we did, you know, three hypnosis sessions. You're not smoking anymore. Yeah. Uh, because it is so subtle. It's You're not getting that lightning bolt moment. Uh, yeah. Somebody will, uh, like a revelation. But, um, but yeah. Not usually, you know, as far as other success stories, you know, the, the, the heavy sweater, you know, the person that sweat, you know, mm -hmm. um, hyperhidrosis, uh, fix that within a few sessions. Um, I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm constantly just more of these stories that, that, um, that my clients write to me I had a woman who was suicidal, I actually met her doing street hypnosis out in Mill Creek, Washington. And, uh, she took my card. She calls up suic again, suicidal. Please go talk to your doctor, your physician, you know, and they, they sign off on it. Uh, we did three sessions and she wrote me like a year later. Well, we kept in contact before that, but a year later, she goes, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. And I'm like, oh, oh. oh. Wow. wow, wow, wow. And again, you, oh. know, asterisk, you know, asterisk here, um, hypnosis is not a substitute for, you know, seeing your, your physician, your psychiatrist, anything like that. It's supplemental. And... You know, regarding the, the young man that was having all the people, the doubters in his life, it's like, what does it hurt? Exactly. I said, what does it hurt? There's no risk. <laughs> he tried the medications. He'd been getting counseling. He talked to his doctor. Yeah, there is no risk. You're going to put out some money, but would you rather put out a few hundred bucks and find out if it's going to work? Um, especially when what you clearly have already noticed is a recognized expert. They don't give TEDx talks to everybody, you know. Um, I've got this body of work. I've got tons of reviews. Um, I speak at hypnosis conventions. I teach other hypnotists. And, and you're going to tell me that you're going to listen to your, your anthropology teacher? <laughs> Come on. Oh, it's, it's, it's the same thing happens in the keto world. Like, oh, well, my, my aunt's mom said that, yeah. that that's not a healthy diet. Oh, <laughs> so you, you hired me to do this work right. for you but you're going to trust your aunt's mom or whatever. That's a, the aunt's cousin or whoever, you know, that's not an expert. So I totally get that. Okay. Um, I want to go back to one thing else you said, because this yeah. is one of my favorite things about hypnosis. Once, once I learned to do it. Now, the reason I have Jim here as the expert is because he does this as his full-time specialty. I have the training in it. I do a little bit of it, tiny little bit in it for my clients, but if somebody wants to work with this on a big scale, I refer them to Jim. Uh, I work in my niche, which is keto coaching nutrition, sprinkled in a little bit of, uh, you know, some powerful psychology. But for people that want to work, like that's what they want to spend an hour on or focus, I send them to Jim. Um, but it's one of the things that I loved, so I picked up my hypnosis training in the middle of my master's degree in psychology. So I was in the middle of being trained to be a mental health therapist, um, and I was really confused. I asked my professor one day, like, why, how do, how does this help people make change? Hmm. How does this talking about problems and finding the root cause? Like you said, the re regression, regression to cause, how does that help people change? And he goes, Hmm, yeah, that's a good question. We still don't know that. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> why do we do this work that doesn't work? Or we don't even know if it works. Right. Cause I had had the experience of going to therapy and just, you know, buckle up because it's going to take years of talking right. and you go in and you spend an hour pouring out your heart and then just, oh, time's up and you're bawling your eyes out. And the rest of the day, I was always like just completely emotionally wrung out. And I was just like, this is horrible. Nobody, no wonder people don't like going to therapy. Now, caveat, therapy is amazing. And for people that need it, you, this is, this is, uh, I'm not saying that therapy is horrible. My experience of it was that it, it takes a lot of work to do, do all that. So the first times I started to experience hypnosis in my training, I was like, and then doing it on my clients myself was like, you can go, you can go to a regression place or you can just go to whatever the issue is. Yeah. And then by the end of the session, you get to 
you can you you get to say under hypnosis now you're going to feel fully refreshed and alert and awake and whole and and happy and that's how you feel at the end you don't have to feel like you've cried your eyes out for an hour and emotionally wrung out. So that was a long, you know, I'm supposed to be interviewing you and I'm talking more than I should, but like uh, that. I just had to piggyback on what you said about like, you don't have to go to that same place as you would with therapy or deeper things like that. So um, do you have anything re reflections on that or uh, what do you want to add to that? You know, I feel the same way. I mean, like you said, it's great. If you need that, great. And I think as far as trauma goes, I think it makes some sense to talk about it a little bit, um, mm -hmm. get that out um, to somebody a few times maybe. But what I, I find a lot of times is people are just going to therapy. They're talking about the same damn thing. Uh, sorry, the same darn thing every single time. And and they're reliving the nightmare of it. And mm -hmm. you know, wouldn't it be better to go talk about it a couple of times? Sure, get it off your chest. And then we just, we use like a laser and we get right to the problem. We change the behavior. Mm -hmm. It's so much quicker. You know, people yeah. sometimes, they think that hypnosis is like magic. And so, you know, when I tell them, you know, like the anger issue, I said, I can probably get you at least, at least 80, 70, 80% to where you want to be within three sessions. Um, it may take more. I, you know, I can, I never really know, you know, we never you know. It's hard to say. It's like, you know, physical therapy. You don't know how long it's going to, should take this long, maybe longer. Um, but, you know, people are kind of surprised. Oh, it's going to take more. Well, it's still quicker than therapy, right? Um, there's still, like you said, there's those layers of the onion. And what sometimes happens is is the the thing is not the thing, right? <laughs> you know, the overeating is not is not the real problem here. The, the real problem goes deeper. And once you fix that problem or address it, the other stuff becomes a lot easier. Excellent. Uh, what, uh, viewers, whoever's here right now, what questions do you have for Jim? Um, uh, questions you have about how hypnosis works, um, if it could work for something that's going on for you, or also what topic would you like him to do a brief, um, guided imagery or hypnotic session with? We have that opportunity to do that today that will be embedded in this recording forever. Um, I know there's a bit of a delay. So let's wait and see what this person says. But in the meantime, um, all right, what does it hurt? Doesn't hurt anything. We talked about why you, yes, you, okay, not you, but you should not do hypnosis. Um, false expectations, basically. Um, and, and certain mental health conditions. And that's um, good. It's just a, you know, hey, check first, you know, and get somebody that's qualified. Uh, I got to tell you, it's, it's so, Ah, uh, you know, like I, I remember, you know, I'll have people that'll talk to me. I remember this one guy in particular, he had checked around to a few hypnotists. And when I told him my price, he was like, whoa, that's like, I found somebody, yes, talked to somebody yesterday. It was a 30 year price. I said, you should go with them then. You know, um, if you're going for the cheapest, then you'll get what you get. Mm -hmm. You know, like, hey, you can, you like for keto stuff, you can, you can subscribe to, to a newsletter somewhere and maybe get some info. You can Google keto and get some results, but do you, but do you want to get just anybody or do you want the expert and the person that's going to work with you individually to help you? You know, um, My business coach said yesterday something that blew me away. And it's actually, um, it's important for what you just said and the work that we're both doing. Time, so think about this. All you watching, this isn't for Jim. This is for you watching. Time is the only non-renewable resource that we have in our lives. Mm. We True. can eat healthier and exercise and change our body and, and get some healthy renewal. And, um, but time, every day, we only have so many hours in our day. We have so many hours in our week. And when you engage with a professional that can help you have a shortcut, get there faster. Sure. You could, you could try to do these things on your own. Um, you know, the people that I'm working with, like they tried to figure out keto on their own and they spent months, probably some of them even years. Right. Um, but what we're giving you the gift of is more time. Actually. Um, it is a way that you can actually get some renewal. You get more freed up. So for my clients, it's, they're no longer consumed and obsessing about food all day long. Um, you're freeing people up because they're able to make change much more rapidly than they could any other way. Really powerful. Yeah. You know, and you know, I agree so much. It's, you know, I give you an example of this, you know, I, for the first time in my life, I actually hired movers this last time. 
when I think about how cheap it was to hire them, <laughs> I, I was like, I, I can't believe I didn't do this before. And it's not cheap, cheap. Yeah. But when I consider my what my time is worth, you know, whether it's working with clients or just sitting and watching a movie, oh, <laughs> it was so worth it. Oh, yes. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Let, let, uh, hire the experts to help them, uh, you know, free up more of your time, get you faster results, better results yeah. than you yeah. ever could on your own. Um, you're, you know, in, similarly to a coach, you're a subconscious mind coach is what a hypnotist mean is. Oh, has anybody ever said that? No. They, I mean, <laughs> Can anybody tell like I'm lacking in human interaction? Like I'm so excited to talk to you today. I'm just like, oh my God, I'm so brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Hypnot hypnotism is just subconscious mind coaching. He's coaching your your subconscious mind to make changes. And, right. um, you know, a lot of you know people know it makes sense. Like our NFL players, elite athletes, marathon runners, uh, um, Ironman people, like they hire a coach if they want to get better at that. If they want to have faster results, they want to do better than anyone else. So same thing with hiring a uh, subconscious mind coach, right. <laughs> AKA hypnotist. Uh, it just gets you better results faster. It gets you a shortcut. It's an unfair advantage actually over other people that are trying to make changes. So it really is. That's a great, a great way of looking at it. I love that. Sub what'd you call it again? The sub yeah. uh, you're a subconscious mind coach. Right. Subconscious yeah. mind coach. Yeah, exactly. that sounds so like, cause I know a lot of people have misconceptions about like, oh, like this is against my spiritual beliefs or things oh, like yeah. that. Right. Um, but factually that's what hypnot hypnotist does. They coach your subconscious mind to make changes, help help your mind make changes. That's all that's, it is. That's <laughs> such a great way. In fact, I wish we could just change the name and just go to yeah, the yeah. mind you, coach. You actually, you actually could. I had started kind of moving away from the title of hypnotist because it does cause that, that, that other stuff, you know, that some of those myths to pop up. But the yeah. problem with that, though is some people are actually looking for a hypnotist. Like for instance, yes. I wouldn't have got my TEDx talk if I, if I wasn't a hypnotist cause they were looking for a hypnotist. So right. Right. It is tough. Yes. But I love that. That's a great, that's a great title. I know so I have call I have colleagues that, that don't call themselves hypnotists. They call themselves a mental coach or things like that. Yeah. Mental coach. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, it's, we didn't get that person to comment, so we're going to, we're going to move on. Um, let's see what, what is, let's see if we could pick out like a, a five minute little um, guided imagery, subconscious mind coaching session right. uh, that would, that would be targeted towards helping people optimize weight loss. Mm -hmm. um, what would, would, if I put you on the spot right now, could you lead this through something that's, you know, about five minutes or so of uh, coaching our subconscious mind? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Start my stopwatch. <laughs> I'll be my pocket watch out too. I'm just <laughs> oh, before you start, I thought of the other, so we've mentioned um, oh, yeah. office space, Shallow Hal, but brand new Netflix special that I've been watching is Ratchet, which is based on um, Nurse Ratchet from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. So it's supposed to be her backstory. Oh, cool. It's cinematography and the set design and the costumes. It's all beautiful. Um, but they the the it's set in a psychiatric hospital and the head doctor there. So this is back in I'm not sure like the 50s maybe, and he's doing he's experimenting with hypnosis on some of his. Uh, patients and they actually one of them goes wrong and then another one though has multiple personality disorder that he has great success with until awesome. of course she sees the next trauma in the show but anyway so that's another one so those are the three um the hollywood versions of hypnosis that may or may not be based in any fact at all so <laughs> <laughs> well you know what i mean if it, i mean again you know it's just like that my, my my stage hypnosis and street hypnosis videos you know if they portrayed hypnosis accurately it would be boring. Mm -hmm. right? I mean, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't make good. It wouldn't make for good TV. Just like I, I'm guessing a lot of espionage, a lot of spy work is pretty boring. Detective work, boring. Yeah. Um, so if they actually portrayed it legitimately, who'd watch it? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So reset. Now we're going to Jim master hypnotist. Is that the right word? Um, uh, 
Sure. World-renowned hypnotist Jim Kellner is going to lead us through a hypnosis, guided imagery, uh, subconscious mind coaching exercise in optimizing. What, what would you like to title it? Healthy living. There you go. Whatever that means to you. Awesome. So, um, you know, as we talked about earlier, it's never a good idea to listen to hypnosis or guided meditation or anything like that while you're driving a car or moving around or operating heavy machinery. So if you're doing that, stop listening. Otherwise, just go ahead and get yourself in a comfortable position, sitting or lying down in a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. And just allow your breathing to become a little bit slower as you just gently close your eyes down if you're comfortable with that. And as your breathing becomes a little bit slower, you may find it easy to just imagine that there are some gentle waves of relaxation going from the top of your head all the way down to the uh, bottoms of your feet. That's right. And you can take in a deep breath and then let it out with a sigh if that's helpful to you. You can allow those gentle waves of relaxation to go all the way down to the fingertips. And just imagining gentle waves going all the way down, all the way through your body. And just allow all outside sounds and distractions to fade away as you focus solely on the sound of my voice. And at times you may feel the need to shift or even move around a bit, and that's okay. You're just releasing tension. As soon as that tension is released, you'll be able to relax even more now. And while you're continuing to imagine gentle waves of relaxation moving through your body, you might just start focusing on your goals and your intentions for today's short hypnotic journey. Nothing else to think about, nothing else to do, so you can just focus on now where you'd like to make changes in your life. Perhaps you've chosen to eat certain foods, leaving others behind. Maybe you've chosen to drink more water or to get in a, get in a bit of physical activity from time to time. Some of you may even be considering the possibility of utilizing hypnosis or meditation. Whatever your specific goals are, are perfect for you. And you can allow those goals to float around in your mind, just imagining what it's going to be like as you create those shifts in your life. How it's already perhaps becoming easier to eat those healthy foods and and leave behind those ones that no longer serve you. You may begin to notice, in fact, in the coming days, weeks, months, perhaps even years, that those healthy foods become brighter in your mind. They really stand out as those old foods of the past just become black and white in your mind and sort of fade away like steam off of a boiling pot. In fact, perhaps you remember to forget those old foods of the past by simply forgetting to remember them. I wonder if you'll find yourself saying, I don't want them, I don't need them as you refuse to even think about them. So many possibilities, 
so many ways to make changes in your life. And I wonder if there's a part of you that would really like to begin to love yourself more than ever. Perhaps today you'll find that you're taking a moment to look in the mirror and repeating the following, I love myself. I respect myself. I am beneath no one. Maybe you'll do that every day now. Maybe you'll find that you're repeating those words frequently as you're driving or walking or even watching TV. And every time that you look in the mirror, you might give yourself that smile as you say, I love myself. I respect myself. I am beneath no one. And it might be interesting to just imagine in your mind now that all of those suggestions that were helpful for you become locked in. Perhaps they become solidified in your body and mind as you grasp those concepts that resonate with you. Perhaps you're noticing how your goals are becoming clearer in your mind. Knowing that you can always accept the suggestions that are helpful while leaving any others behind. You could always take them in later if it's appropriate to do so. And now might be a good time to begin making that journey back to your normal everyday life, your everyday state of consciousness. So you could imagine now that you're just slowly walking up a set of stairs and as I count you up from one to five, and you may find that on that fifth step, you're back to your full level of consciousness, feeling rested, refreshed, revitalized. Or maybe on five, you'll drift into a deep, refreshing sleep, if that's what's uh, appropriate to do now. And so now as you step up to that first step, you're perhaps finding that you feel more confident in your ability to create change in your life. Two, stepping up, perhaps feeling a bit more motivated, more determined than ever to live your best life. Third step coming up, perhaps even feeling as if you've had a deep, refreshing sleep as you start to come back to your normal state. As you step up to that fourth step, you may find that you're wanting to stretch or move around a bit, and that's okay. And then five, you can open your eyes whenever you're ready or go into a deep sleep, just coming back to your normal state, feeling rested, refreshed, revitalized. All the way back now. Thank you. Ooh, that was great. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jim. You're welcome. That was, I haven't, I haven't had, I haven't experienced that in some time. It feels like a You're gift. Welcome. Thank you feels so good much. Good to me too. Oh, good. Does it feel good to you, those of you listening? Ah. Uh, all right. Well, that was amazing. That was wonderful. That was the, uh, I feel like a radio DJ. Thank you for listening to Top Hits uh, Hypnosis to make you or help you live your optimal health. And uh, all right. So as we wrap this up, okay. So we have, we, everyone, we have talked about um, the possibilities with hypnosis. What are, uh, what things are possible? Um, some of Jim's favorite success stories uh, we talked about um, why you should not use hypnosis for weight loss and mm -hmm. basically the contraindications and removing false beliefs or false expectations of what, how it works, how it's going to work. Um, we talked about why, for some people, um, using hypnosis can be shorter and less painful than going through traditional talk therapy and 
We also talked about understanding who's an expert, who you should listen to as far as whether hypnosis will work or not. And it doesn't hurt anything. There's no, besides the contraindications we've talked about, there's no risk. There's no risk. Um, and we also defined that what Jim is doing as a hypnotist is basically subconscious mind coaching. So if you're ready to make some bigger changes, uh, faster shortcuts, bigger optimizing your life than you could on your own, then hypnosis may be for you. Um, so before we close this out, I'm going to show your website here so people can contact you in just a moment. But um, anything, any last words, anything else you were hoping to get to that I didn't ask you about, about hypnosis or work you do or... Hmm. That's a great question. Uh, I don't think so, but you know, I just thought maybe that'd be a good headline that um, why you should not use hypnosis to lose weight. That's exactly it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yep. Um, no, I can't think of anything else. Please, you know, give it a try. Whether you use me or someone else, um, you know, just check them out. Make sure they've got a few reviews at least and a decent website and maybe some credentials. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Jim has generously offered everyone who is listening to this now and in the future, uh, a free intro uh, call with him to find out if hypnosis is right for you. If you're somebody who's worried about can I be hypnosis, hypnotized or not? Uh, what are my goals? Are they in alignment with hypnosis? Will it work for me? Um, reach out on his website, damnimpretty.com. There's no apostrophe. So that's uh, important to know and website URLs, they can't have any punctuation. So uh, damnimpretty.com, it's Jim's uh, catchphrase. Hold up your mug again. Your uh, your okay. water. Your your uh, yep. I have a coffee mug that he gave me with the same thing in it on it. And so uh, not only that, but uh, for a limited time. So if you're watching this in sometime in the future, this may not be still valid. But for those of you watching for a limited time, uh, schedule an initial call with him, and he's offered to give uh, fifty percent off of one of his programs to the, you. So start with the start with the call first and um, see if it's a good fit. And um, Anything else to add, Jim? Well, um, just clarify the um, the I did actually I was able while we were talking I was able to get the, the discount code going. So okay, if you want to get my I'm happy to chat with you anytime. Just mention Carol. Um, I'll have, we'll have a free consultation, uh, no obligation, uh, and I won't hypnotize you to make you say yes. Probably um, <laughs> so as we talked about, you know, very it's very rare that someone is significantly overweight just because uh, food tastes so darn good. There's usually something else. A lot of times that's self-esteem. So I'm going to offer my self-esteem course, a uh, four-week class, um, self-paced for 75% off. Uh, Ooh, even better. Yeah, just use the, the code CAROL, C-A-R-O-L-E. So for about 50 bucks, uh, it can really make it transform your life. If you check out the website there, you'll see a couple of reviews for that program. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to grab that link from you so that we can link it in the the show notes and I'll send that out to all my members as well too. So, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Sure you guys are so lucky. All right. So give it up for Jim being here. Uh, thank you so much. Look, here's a, here we got this. Yay. Jim. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to do this and uh, hope all's well up there in Seattle. I keep seeing videos of people right now and it's already raining back up there again. So I'm like, Oh yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. Uh, good for you, Carol. I'm so glad you were able to escape. <laughs> I'm freezing in here in the AC. So, yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, thanks again. You guys reach out to Jim. Uh, and uh, that's all for now. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Carol. Thanks, everybody.